Hello everyone! Welcome back to Adventures in Sunhaven! Looks like our roses are very slowly growing up here. I shouldn't say that. They've been growing pretty quickly, I have to admit. <laughs> oh, we've got some vines on our wheat today. Oh my goodness, the vines, they are everywhere. Let's just take quickly take care of those before we continue on saying good morning to all of our wonderful little pets. Okay, so these rain clouds tend to spawn directly over our head. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, let's try to water as much as we can with our limited little clouds here. And then we can always take care of the last few things. Our little buddy Russell, we see you. Good morning. We'll give you some pets in just a moment. <laughs> oh, I love all of our pets just so happy. Although the fog is kind of annoying because it kind of takes away from our ability to actually get to see our pets. Good morning, Russell. Good morning, Lantern Spirit. Hi, Weedy. Hi, Pebbles. Aw, Bloom. <laughs> and Hermie, of course. Now, I do like the pets because I think when winter hits, we are going to enjoy them even more just because we will have some color for our pets in our scene. Oh, keep the tomato. Oh, have we donated that book? I think we'll just sell the black diamond. So yeah, when it's all white and kind of gloomy. Our pets will still have some color around the farm. I don't know why I pushed all. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, here we go. Really? Oh, right, because we had made a bunch of gold bars. I gotcha. I'm like, why did our ore not go across? I gotcha. Now we do still need to smelt that mithril sword, so we better get on that. We should have enough to do one of them now. I can't remember. Is today our last day or do we still have one more day after today? Let's take a quick little peek. Oh, and today is our festival day. Oh my goodness. Okay, two days left. Okay, that is still within reach here. And we do need some stones. So we better throw that back into our inventory. <laughs> we know what happens if I go and throw stuff into the chest too often. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is a lot of planks. Look at that. Oh, almost close enough. I'm like, it almost looks like a bridge just <laughs> coming at us there. Okay, we were going to keep planks in our inventory in order to expand some of the slots in the shops, which we of course will do probably starting tomorrow after our festival. Oh, don't want to just move one over. <laughs> That wouldn't be very handy. Oh my goodness. We have so much stuff. We're really going to have to figure out what we are doing with everything here. I don't think we have donated a petrified log to the museum yet, so we'll check on that. And we need to say good morning to our wonderful little farm animals too. And then of course we need to go hunt down our bachelors, which means we should probably head to Nalvari pretty quick or Lucius is gonna <laughs> disappear on us. I need to make a note to myself that we need to head over there early in the morning. Oh, <laughs> good morning. How are all of you? Oh, sheep, do you want some love there? <laughs> okay, we better waste no more time and race on over to Nalvari. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really do not enjoy the foggy days. I think it is a very cool effect, but after a few days, I'm not enjoying it as much. <laughs> oh, good morning. Oh, right. We need to give him a smoothie too. I love that we can <laughs> see when our crafting things are done. Like, I just have it in the right location that it can remind me. <laughs> okay, let's take care of that. Quickly stop on over to the barn if we can get through our little maze here. 
I guess spending some more time in the mine wouldn't be that big of a deal because then we could get more adamant and we could work on getting that enchanted axe going. Although, we should look into that. How many enchanted bars do we need? Because I know we kind of made a pickaxe and we're like, oh, we'll make a, we'll have two, but really, I think there's enchanted one works just as well in Sunhaven as it does in Nalvari, so I don't think I'll worry about having one for everything there. Oh my goodness, <laughs> bouncing across trees. <laughs> oh, it's like a little tree collision right there. Uh-oh, he's on the move. Okay, we'll quickly take a peek at the quest and then we will head up to the tree, I think is where he goes. Oh, antlers, we can do that. Sweet as honey, we can do that as well. Ooh, that'll get us 800 gold for our festival, so that will be fantastic. I like how the trees are different colors. We've got the yellow and then the reddy pink colors and Okay, Lucius, are you still here, or have we missed you? Oh, good, there he is. Oh, whoa, that was quick. I wasn't expecting someone to fetch a smoothie for me so quickly. Thank you very much, and please take this as your reward. No problem. Oh, goodness, let's take a community token, I think. Hello, Pip. Busy at work again, are we? What are you up to right now, Lucius? I'm thinking about some of my favorite owls. The owls of Navari are excellent predators and completely silent when they fly through the night sky. Lately though, I believe they've fallen on hard times with their hunts. If the owls are finding less prey to catch, then it must mean there's less prey to go around. I do hope the situation improves soon. Why don't you think of the poor prey animals? Oh, that's kind of mean. Nature sounds very complex. It is very complex and delicate. Novara once explained to me that nature is like a chain. Each individual link of the chain relies on the link below and above it. If just one link breaks, the chain snaps. I didn't think Navara was the type to use chains as a metaphor, but it certainly painted an effective picture. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, well, when I'm not able to gaze up at the moon, I do enjoy good music, which Navari is full of. The natural hymns of the night, the chirping of the insects, and the unfiltered rushing of the river are beautiful but a hot bowl of noodles and the mushroom bards is also perfectly acceptable what about griffin riding what about something like painting or exploring oh goodness i tried painting once actually but it's sort of hard to do at night so i tried painting during the day and realized i was terrible at it do you think I'd make a good painter? Perhaps I could give it another try. Ooh, look at that. He's uh, considering it just because we put the thought out there. That's kind of cool. Thank you for the blue rose bouquet. Who told you I love stuff like this, Pip? Don't mention it. Oh, he's getting very close. That's cool. All right, so a little relieved. We managed to do that, no problem. Hi, Luke. Bee can wants my style and honey. All right, but she better get it back to me by tomorrow. My hair is hopeless without this stuff. Thanks. <laughs> oh. So he uses it for his hair, and I wonder what she actually does end up using it for. It's kind of funny because she does make a comment on wondering how quickly he's going to want it back. Is that Luke's hairstyle and honey? How lovely! I just wonder how long I can keep it before Luke wants it back. Pip, don't forget your payment. 800 gold for our festival. Oh, we got some farming skill points now. Okay, 
Oh, this is the one where we can get the golden heart. So I'm very excited to unlock this level. Eating a jam. We haven't really been eating jam. Unlock the keg recipe. Didn't we do that already? The keg can be used to brew a wide array of amazing drinks from the crops you grow. We have a keg on our farm, right? Like, how did we end up getting that if we didn't have that selected? Interesting. Okay, well, next time we'll be able to start getting the golden heart level with our animals, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, collect extra items. That's kind of exciting. An ice cream maker. Oh, ooh. and increase mana regeneration while on your farm. Now that would be helpful for our water spell there. And then of course we could get extra crops if the ground is fertilized. And this is just harvesting in general. Oh my goodness, there's so many interesting things we can grab. Okay, so our other quest was getting antlers. And, oh goodness, we're like running low on time. So the antler thing might just have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> we need to keep on moving. Dun, dun, dun. Did we say good morning to all of you guys? I can't actually remember. <laughs> we'll just say good morning a second time, just in case, although it's actually afternoon at this point. <laughs> okay, the race is on. Let's go. The swords will have to wait until tomorrow. We have a festival to attend. And we need to make some space in our inventory or you know what's going to happen? We are going to try to buy a bunch of stuff and not be able to. Okay, adamant. Yes. Oh, good. We have a whole bunch of that. So let's just get it all crafting here. Oh, wonderful. And anything we can possibly put away I think is for the better because I have no idea how much space we are going to need for this festival just that we are going to need a lot okay maybe we will stick our citrus star fruit in here because we haven't really found that we need to use it for anything I guess we can always snack on some stuff if we need to dun dun <laughs> I can probably open that, get ourselves some extra mana points. And we might actually end up selling some of these scales because I don't think we've seen a crafting recipe that needs them. Do, do, do. Okay, let's kind of scurry over to town here. Pretty sure we're still okay for the festival, but I guess we'll find out very quickly. <laughs> oh, people are still wandering around. Does this mean we actually have time to give out a couple more gifts or he still got the little question mark above his head. Let's see what there is for quests here really quick. Blueberry jam. Well, we can probably do that for Amanda two adamant bars oh 2000 gold i think we can probably do that too i was kind of hoping we would bump into claude going somewhere but i don't see him so i think we'll just start the festival happy halloween pip are you interested in attending our halloween festival i can take you there if you're ready to go okay so we do have a bit of an option here Maybe we won't be ready quite yet. Let's go check the tavern and see if Claude has made his way. Can we see NPCs on the map? Liam is down there. We do need to hand in a table to him. It looks like Claude might actually be at the music store. So why don't we quickly hop on over there? <laughs> we might as well be a bunny. <laughs> I mean, for the amount of jumping or hopping we do with the air skipping, we might as well be part bunny. Oh, no, Claude is not here after all. 
Mm, interesting. So is he in his house? No, it looks like his house is empty over there. Unless it just doesn't show it when he's there. Hmm. Oh, it looks like Lynn wants us for something. Interesting. I can't see Claude on the map. Well, that's highly unfortunate. Oh, there he is. He just left his house. <laughs> I'm like, we gotta be able to spy on these NPCs, right? <laughs> oh, just get our creep on just a little bit here. <laughs> Okay, so note to self, he comes out, well, I knew he came out later in the day, but this is quite a bit later. It seems like a good day for farming. Not that I would really know. <laughs> it's good to see you out. Fresh air sometimes clears my head, but it isn't a working day today. I guess I don't mind seeing a familiar face on my walk, though. Okay, what are you working on these days? Oh, just a hopeless piano composition to revolution revolutionize music as we know it. I hope your day ends on a good note, Claude. That would be a first. Oh, wait. Good note. I get it. That's actually not a bad joke, Pip. I'll take that as a compliment. I don't mean to offend. It's just that most people aren't funny to me. Just annoying. I'm surprised you aren't annoying to me, that's all. Okay, right, and we were giving him some soup here, so let's do that. Tomato soup? Yeah, I'd actually love some. Thanks, Pip. I admit, this is a really nice gift. Don't mention it. Okay, now, June is pretty well up to 10 hearts, so I don't think we're going to worry about having to go out of our way to gift him. So let's get our festival on the move here. Yes, let's go. Let's see what this is all about. Oh my, look, the kids are dressed up. No one ever picks trick. I want to pull some tricks on someone. <laughs> I'm going to share my candy with Mama. Aw. Hey, Pip, you got a sweet tooth too? Huh? I can't stop helping myself to the candy. Oh, that's not who you meant to talk to. When I was a girl, Halloween was always my favorite holiday. Going around all over town, door to door, it's like I was preparing to be the town courier my whole life. <laughs> the children always love Halloween. With all the sweets they get, it's pretty easy to see why. Oh, look at those balloons. Oh, the ghost balloon is so cute. I'm dressed in the garb of court magicians from my homeland. <laughs> Magic, a weapon used by those without the capability of wielding a real blade. See ya. I'm a fall witch, get it? Like a witch? For the season of fall? Um... Maybe my costume is a bit confusing. <laughs> See ya. Well, I guess that explains why there's a pumpkin on her head. Trick or treat. Honk honk, yeah. Happy Halloween, thanks. Strawberry candy drop. Oh, we're getting candy. Oh, there's the kids, they're dressed up too. I don't know if I can eat any more chocolate. Well, maybe just one more. <laughs> Candy, 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 candy. Liam never lets us eat this much. <laughs> oh, goodness. Trick or treat. Oh, hey, trick or treating this year? Watch out for the girls, would you? I'm worried that Emma is getting a little too much sugar. <laughs> An orange candy drop. Hmm, farmer, be on the lookout. I think there's a monster around here. Can't quite seem to find it, though. With all the people dressed up, I'm not surprised. Look at this. Is this a pumpkin rug? It looks so neat. 
Okay, it looks like we might have some shops here. I've been taking care of these little fellas all year long. Now it's time to take them home with you. Come on, they're friendly. A wizard toad and a witch cat. Oh, we can get two new f pets. Okay, yeah. You know, since they insisted and everything. Is it really Halloween if you don't treat yourself? Come see what seasonal goodies I have for you. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Oh my goodness, permanent stats. We always love those. Oh, attack damage. It's like they read our mind here. Spell damage. Oh, so much good stuff here. A witch couch, a witch end table, witch chair, <laughs> witch wardrobe. Those are very punny things. Uh, empty jar. Interesting. Potion jar, poisoned apples. A witch lamp, witch table, witch bed, witch rug. <laughs> witch Halloween fence. A bag of jelly beans. Oh, ooh. we never have enough money. It's like just that, just that horrible incident that we have. Um, but yeah, attack damage, like great. Bring it on. What else do we have here? Uh, mana regen. Oh, that would be good too. Moderate amount of health permanently. Oh, yeah, that would be good, too. Like, look at that. We had so much money coming into it. I guess if we hadn't bought the pets, we would be okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we should probably do some of that. I like how I'm just bouncing all over the place here. And we definitely do want some attack damage. So I think we'll worry less about... about the mana and stuff. Okay, attack damage, yes please. Oh, and that's it. We are like tapped out for funds. <laughs> and of course we went broke right before the end of winter. That's so, or right before the end of fall, so it probably wasn't my smartest move ever. <laughs> we might have to do some fishing to make up for that. Oh, Wesley's here. What? Nothing is more frightening than clowns. This is true in Nalvarian culture, and I'm sure it is no different in Sunhaven's culture. Oh, he's making assumptions there, isn't he? <laughs> Lucius, how are you? Look, I'm an Amari. A half-elf, half-human, half-wolf Amari. Bark, bark. <laughs> oh, that was kind of funny. Trick or treat. Doing a little trick or treating, Pip? <laughs> Here you go. And we got a blue candy drop. And no one said anything about the costumes being scary, so I chose a queen. All right, fine. I can be an evil, wicked queen. Is that good enough? <laughs> oh, looks like we have a pumpkin table out here. That's neat. I can't decide if I want to buy a black cat a black cat from the pet stall. They're so cute. See ya. Well, we did purchase a black cat. <laughs> oh goodness. And probably way too many snack goodies. Hopefully there wasn't any more stores because we totally spent all of our money. Better be careful. I put a pharaoh's curse on you. <laughs> Pretty convincing costume, isn't it? What's wrong? Do I frighten you? Ha, good. Humans dress up like monster folk? What a hilarious tradition. It's about time you Sunhaven guys did something a little fun. Oh, is Lynn a ghost? Mm -mm. It looks like Warnhart covered himself head to toe in medical gauze. Creative, to be sure, but next time he should leave his mouth unwrapped. <laughs> oh. 
In my village, no one is ever too old for Halloween. I'm glad Sunhaven is the same way. Oh, Nathaniel is a uh, Frankenstein or a zombie? Hey, don't worry. It's just me, Nathaniel. Pretty convincing costume, huh? I look just like a monster, huh? Trick or treat. Ah, Pip, are you wearing a costume this year? Honestly, you always dress so uniquely that I can't tell. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, well, we got a blueberry candy drop. Oh, look at these balloons. I kind of wish we could decorate our farm with all the balloons. They look so neat. Iris? Being in a costume is strangely comforting. I don't have to be myself for a moment, is what I mean. Is Donovan a hot dog? That's kind of funny. You dress up in a costume and people give you free candy? Why don't we do this in Withergate? Heck, why don't we do this everywhere all the time? Because we would all be in sugar comas every day. <laughs> of all the human festivals I've seen, I have to say Halloween is by far the most fun. Who doesn't like a good costume party. Oh, it's kind of interesting how some people are in it for the candy and some people are just in it for the dressing up. Hmm, so what if I'm a real monster? You aren't going to rat me out to that weird hunter guy, are you? He's so dumb. He thought I was a human kid in a costume. Oh, did they just say the same thing? Oh, ghostly child. Boo! I am a ghost. <laughs> I hope Papa won't be mad at me for poking these holes in his pillowcase, though. Oh, that's cool. We got a human child next to a monster child. That's adorable. They're getting along. Oh, a pumpkin carriage. That's neat. Trick or treat. Hey, you're the only one brave enough to come to my house this year, huh? Thanks. Another strawberry candy drop for us. Look, Pip, I'm a superhero. That's like a normal hero, but super. I need a cool battle cry, hmm? Oh, I know. Spoon. What do you think, Pip? Spoon. <laughs> what do you mean? A battle cry like that will tick people off. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look at the big jack-o'-lantern. Oh, it's just so neat. I love the decorations for this festival. Okay, I think we have talked to everyone that we've come across here now. I don't think we can actually leave the area. We might just have to talk to Bernard. Yeah. Like, look at that. There's coffins with jack-o'-lanterns on top of them. <laughs> I like the ghost on top of the shop. It's so cute. All right, Bernard. Have you had enough of the festivities, Pip? Ready to head home? I'd like to leave. I think we have came and saw and did everything as far as I know. Oh, goodness, 11 p.m. Just like that. How full is our inventory now? Oh, decently full. Okay, let's release our new pets. <laughs> uh, we just couldn't resist ourselves here. Okay. Aww. And our wizard toad. Oh, it's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's good. I was worried it was going to be pretty tiny and hard to find. Our sword is complete. Fantastic. Now, if only we could do some fishing or something to make us an awful lot of money. <laughs> um, do we have anything to sell? Maybe we'll sell some of our animal goodies. Like, that's the one problem with a festival being at the very end of the season. Okay, those will be a bit of a income thing here. Because we, of course, are going to want to plant a bunch of crops 
in winter because I do know that there are quite a few different crops for winter in Sunhaven, which is very exciting, but oh my goodness, we're not going to be able to afford anything. <laughs> 18 eggs. Kate, let's ship those away too. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, clock, be kind to us here. Oh good, some of our gold bars are done. We could probably throw those in the shipping bin as well. Oh, we need to head in. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of all of that going. Um, get rid of those. Blueberries, we can probably part with those too. Oh, permanent spell damage. We haven't really been using our raspberries, so we might as well sell those for some extra profit. Okay, I guess it is time for us to head on home. Wow, the fog is so thick. <laughs> Good thing there's lights on our house. All right, so we got to enjoy the Halloween festival and hand out some gifts, so that was all pretty exciting. The only question is, do we have some events overnight? Always hard to say. No, we slept straight through the night. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.